Hello guys and welcome to another session of Building Tabs Manager Live. So today we are going to parse open graph data for our links. So let me tell you a little bit about what is open graph. So here we have its official website. Basically it's uh, all the metadata that you could see in the head of uh, a website, an article, a YouTube video. It is serving a purpose of giving search engines and also some post previews, uh, some information about like what is this information? Is it an article, a video, uh, just some website, some preview page, title, description, etc. So uh, let's say we open some YouTube videos, just a random one. Okay, this uh, chat GPT. Ever since. Oh, sorry, so loud. So if we look at the elements section here, let me make it on the side in the head section, section we will see some meta tags. Uh, let's see if YouTube uses open graph. Uh, so we scroll, scroll, scroll. We can actually search by OG colon. Uh, let's try for OG title. No, they don't. Wow, interesting. They might use some different type of stuff. Okay, what about uh, some Medium article? Medium.com. And let's go inside uh, one of the articles. Okay, let's go to head section. And uh, okay, here we have some Twitter things, some CSS, title, okay, here we are, OG type, OG title, URL, etc, image. So basically this is an image of uh, this article preview, let's open it in a separate tab, here we can see how it would look like if you share it on Facebook or Slack or Discord or somewhere else. So, uh, actually it's interesting what Google uses. Here I have an NPM module that parses the data and gives us back some JSON like this that we can read and uh, save to our database. So, let's check it out. I'll put myself here. We have links and we don't have anything else other than URL right now. Uh, but uh, I think we'll add some database columns for title, maybe tags, description, image, etc. And uh, here is the item from our roadmap. So let's let's go to our backend. So source lib server and uh, wait, where is it? Ah, here roads. I, I changed um, some settings for VS Code to work better with Svelte Kit. I'll post a link to the video somewhere there, you know, there, uh, that lets you configure your VS Code like that. So changes to VS Code were files go first rather than folder that lets you see your roads cleaner like when you open roads you instantly see the root level page and if you go into some folder and there are nested folders you will see uh, pages dot swelled first instead of them being you know in the bottom and uh, hard to figure out which is this page related to then I increased the, uh, what is it called, intendation. Um, so pages are nested, um, sorry, how to say, folders are nested and sometimes it's hard to figure out if it's, uh, you know, not very different in intendation. I may pronounce this word wrong, sorry about that. So in that video, you can configure all of that and many more. 
and also like on the tabs you can see plus page swelled what is it related to it's related to signing and this type of changes you can see in that video okay never mind so let's go to the server side and we have roads here as well and link road so once we add some link we are saving this data to the database first before we do that let's try to parse this 4g data so this is a placeholder for parsing 4g data and we need to install the package it is written in TypeScript, uh, but in their examples they use require, and I'm guessing if they have types uh, in bundled, we'll see in a moment. So let's install it. Um, Bum like that. And let's try to use it. So we can import it right here import 4.js let's say from here okay no error so far so far so good and this is a function that takes some options so let's see do we have types yes we have types so there is options open graph scraper options nice okay so we take our URL and that's all we actually need right now but let's see if they give us a list of options yes here they are so URL is the only required I believe yep and the other options are HTML okay blacklist okay um, only fetch graph info and don't fall back on anything else we'll experiment with this one for sure image fall back fetch other images if no open graph are found custom metadata well etc oh download limit so the way this module works it downloads html content of the page without any you know CSS JavaScript etc and just scans first like kilobyte of data it searches for a head section of HTML and try to uh, fetch this OG stuff okay and this peak size I believe is what uh, it looks for by default okay so let's try something we have URL that's more than enough we await result we save it to OG data let's say and for now we just let's console log it and we'll see how different uh, URL are parsed so let's start our server mm-hmm nice okay uh, let's start with this article that we saw on the medium before we added so we received it it is parsing now I believe uh, okay what is this it looks like response with a lot of data so error false okay result I believe result is what we are looking for uh, let's quickly check the docs check the return for success flag success I believe success should be somewhere else as well in addition to what we see already or might it be this success I'm not sure but yeah this result seems to have all the data we need so let's modify our code a little bit so we only output object data result oh it's typed nice okay let's save it server will be restarted 
clean it and uh, let's try again just to see clearly the data from medium I see it works a little bit slow it takes uh, a second or two or three I don't know so it parses some Twitter data OG data like site name medium type article the title of that article uh, what else description URL of the article itself uh -huh, uh -huh. there should be somewhere an image yep here it is it doesn't know it's high and width but it know it's of type PNG okay cool enough now let's try with some YouTube I don't have any subscriptions and from this channel I don't watch any videos so let's learn how to build okay let's let's use this one yeah we need to work on our UI a little bit okay where is the terminal receive this and we I, I, I can scroll logs further seems it's a little bit cut off for some reason interesting <clears throat> so what do we see here URL site name title oh so there were some OG stuff on YouTube I just didn't find it okay good so title URL description um, no image interesting no image but it's okay we might in addition to this parser we might later on add some additional parser for YouTube that will give us some image if we are interested in images or might be this data is not full because I, I cannot scroll down let's try something else what if I try to save this test.com again oh okay now I can scroll so what was that in that video again um, so OG type is video so we can parse that information as well mm -hmm, mm -hmm. some Twitter related ah okay here is the image uh, let's check what that is yeah that's preview of the video okay awesome so it seems that this npm package works it gives us everything we need to know now uh, oh and it couldn't parse test.com I believe so we need to add some wrappers on top of it maybe we add some um, limit of parsing time like hey you have only three seconds to parse this information otherwise you'll fail um, and something else but for now let's make it as simple as possible so what do we have here uh, yeah I'm guessing where is the response of this comment or oh, does it take forever because this website doesn't exist yeah it might be waiting for it okay uh, let's check if there are any timeout settings no I don't see any ah okay here they are how did I not see stuff so I don't see timeout here but in their examples they definitely use it <laughs> okay okay so let's let's set timeout uh, I want it to be three seconds maximum agent now this is proxy example might it be related to the proxy okay mm -hmm. uh, here it says it is a Google bot I guess this might be used so your server IP not got banned for you know parsing other websites information because they don't want to to block Googlebot uh, but we'll see 
Okay, so three seconds. Let's see if that works. Did it finish parsing? No, I just restarted. Okay. Clean the logs. Uh, let's see if it will save test.com again. One, two, three. No, that request doesn't seem to do anything. I mean, that timeout request. Okay, what about we try something else? Oh, and it timed out eventually. Hmm. What if we say just one second, 1000 1, milliseconds timeout? Will it work then? Clean the terminal, save the link again. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, it doesn't care about <laughs> about the value you provided. Uh, okay. Well, I'm I will play with some uh, options outside of this video, but for now this is fine. So let me just leave a a comment for myself. Play with timeout. Figure out what works best. Okay. And for now, I'll comment it out. So, this is good. We parse the data. We now need to save it to our link. And, uh, bam, bam, bam. We go here. So, what we want is we want title. OG data result OG title. Yep the title or might we look for something else result what else is there title there is a twitter title that might be a fallback value if uh, some url doesn't support OG for some reason but support twitter <coughs> description okay then image OG image URL What's the type of OG image? It is either a string, either image object, either an array of such objects. Okay, but before I think we had dot URL. Yep. So let's try to see if type of type of this equals string. Also, if it is defined, uh, otherwise we'll go here. So if type of this equals string, ah, string as a string as a string <laughs> then we take URL now then we take the, the object itself because it is a string otherwise we'll go deeper dot URL but it might be an array of such things so now we need to check if it's an array array so there is a nice function on array type is array mm -hmm. so if it is array we'll take the first one otherwise or also if it is an array and our code becomes a mess we'll refactor it in a second and uh, it has something like it's not a zero value okay let's say bigger than zero so it's more visible then we use first one uh -huh. let's check it here so length bigger than zero and this otherwise undefined okay then, if it is not an array, it is an object. Oops. 
and an object has a URL inside. Okay, wonderful. So Twitter image is the same thing. Hmm. Yeah, we need to try write a function that it extracts this data. Uh, let's quickly write it somewhere here. Function extract image. So we have the result og result of type og what was it again og object can we import it from here hmm is not supported well this is tricky uh, let me make ID window a little bit bigger I want to see stuff um, shall we skip image at all for now I don't want to waste time on it right now so we have title we have description uh, what else we have We'll skip image. Let's just start with title and description. So this might be undefined either a string. And right now it says like, hey, title and description fields are not on the link model. So we need to go to Prisma, schema, and add it here. Oh, title actually is there. Okay. Uh, let's add description. Yep. So title is of maximum 100 characters, so we'll need to cut it eventually. Uh, well, let's migrate our data. Oops, wrong one. Oh, hey, migrate. Uh, name for migration, links, add, field, description. Mm hmm okay let's see so I remember from previous se sessions uh, VS code doesn't always immediately get information from Prisma schema update uh, but now is it that or is it something else the expected come Mm -hmm. Type is not assignable. Description does not exist. Yeah, it might be that VS Code doesn't know about Prisma updates. Uh, if we go to this thing and we open this d.ts file will it update it oh yeah now it does okay i got a workaround that's nice so let's see how it works now can we save this data and display it on the on the ui oh we need to update ui then so i believe it's link list i think it's it's almost time to move these two components to client components uh, folder yeah URL age title and description title description doesn't exist on link why what's about link no, you just didn't update either. Oops. Okay, we'll just try. I think it's IDE plays with us. PNPM dev. Okay, we have URL. Wow, it's long. We have everything now for now. Okay, let's make it bigger. So let's 
start with some other video just so we have some difference save it here let's mark it as favorite so we see it distinguishable and we got server error let's see what it is exceeded the download limit oh okay that's interesting so that seems to be that setting of this plugin hmm, maximum size okay for now we might increase it but later on i will play with it to configure it properly so now it is one million let's say five millions Okay, copy URL, paste it here, is favorite true, okay, it is saved, we got title, we got description, wonderful, uh, let's see logs to figure out if there is anything else we can easily pick up, so there is a video, uh, uh -huh. image, date of the content this is nice we might use it somehow yeah i think that's that's all for now so um i think in the next session we will uh, improve our ui a bit because right now <laughs> you see you see it's bad um i will also play with the settings for the plugin to parse og data to see the best options and uh, I will also fix parsing the image so we can display images nice thank you for your attention and I will see you somewhere there in the next one ciao